Hello everybody. Um, in this video we're going to show you how to uh, manually track a, the ball as it falls and to do a fit uh, using the tracker program. So first I want to go file and I want to open uh, file. Let's see, video, yeah, imported video. Let's open a file. Um, it's going to give the files that I want to. I have a few videos here, so let's try this one. All right. Um, uh, for yours, hopefully, you'll have the, uh, uh, won't have that frame skip thing that happened here. I'm going to take this and I need to turn it. So if I go down to video filters, I want new, I need to rotate this thing. I need to go 90 degrees so that we're looking vertically, not horizontally. I'm going to close this now. Um, I want to then put my um, axes and I need to put my um, calibration stick. So there's the axes. Let me pull the calibration stick up. I want a new calibration stick. Now with this calibration stick, I'm going to put it on my meter stick here. You put it on your object of known height, whatever that is. Uh, here we have a meter stick that we're using, so I'm going to put it at the bottom. And I'm going to leave this as 100 uh, because I'm going to have that uh, marking there in centimeters. If I do this, the units of my acceleration will be centimeters per second squared. So in other words, for whatever object you use, whatever object of known height that you're using, if you enter the, uh, if you have a different you know, known height, you just enter that right here, and you can enter it in either centimeters or meters. Just remember that whatever it is, you're going to be needing to um, be consistent with those units throughout the, the six videos that you and your partner are analyzing, and then, of course, in, throughout your calculations. You want to be careful about that. So let me pull this down to make the origin down here on the ground. And I'm not going to really worry about what the whether the x is 0 or not. I suppose I could put this right where the ball starts so that my x will be 0 or very close to 0. But we're not going to be worried about that because we're going to be looking at y. Now, which, in fact, let me move it off of the ball so that I can actually you know, see where the middle of the ball is. Okay. All right, so there are my axes. Uh, if I start the video, and notice then the video becomes dropped. So I kind of want to determine where that is. So I'm going to pull back up here to where the video is released, where the ball is released, which is about right there. Now I could clip this uh, to simplify things for myself, but I don't necessarily have to. What I am going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and create the mass. So let's create the mass. I want the point mass. And I want to go ahead and even change this plot so I don't even want to fool with myself. I want the y uh, component of the position here, not the x. So then I'll understand right there and we'll change it. So I want to now zoom in here. Now that I have that point mass, notice it goes back to the beginning of the video. I need to forward this until the ball starts. So I won't be clicking here all day. So now I need to zoom in a little bit here. Zoom in now, say 100%, that's good. And now to manually track, you push shift, which turns the arrow into a little target, click on the center of the ball, and it will automatically move the time step forward. And we'll click again, click again, click again, click again, click again, and I'm going to keep clicking. I want to be consistent with where I'm choosing. I, if Since I've chosen the middle of the blur, I would want to keep do, using the middle of the blur. And really, that's as far as I get. That's a bit there. All right. OK, so now I've tracked the ball. Now I would also like to then analyze that. In order to do that, come over to the plot, right click on the plot, and choose Analyze. This will bring up the Analysis window. Just to help you out a little bit, we're going to lower, we want to wait 
until we have an arrow at the top here, upper left, where my mouse is. Pull this down a little bit just so I can kind of see. And I'd like to be able to do something with this as well, but I'm not sure it's going to let me. I suppose I could figure out some way to do it, but there we are. Now, under Analyze, we want to include Curve Fit, and we want to include Statistics. Okay, so we have our statistics and we have our curve fit. We want to highlight after the ball is known to be released. So if you have other times from before the ball was released, don't include those in your fit. Only include those ones that are after the ball is dropped. Now we don't want to fit this to a line. We need to fit this to a parabola because we have a parabolic drop. And then we want to take a look at the A parameter, which is the coefficient of the T square term. And this is what you write down on your data sheet. Negative 5.466 E2. When you have E2 here, that means times 10 squared. You would do this for each of the six videos, recording your value for the coefficient of the square term in each of those columns. Thank you very much.